What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. So we are tapping into a uh, Arisha reading, all right? We're going to see what's going on, what you need to know, and this is what you guys requested. You guys wanting to know more about Arishas. You like my readings about Arisha, so this is your request being granted, all right? So me and other people that believe in a Yoruba tradition understand that it must be a balance of equilibrium when you come, when it comes to spiritual spirituality and your material blessings okay we understand that there's a higher power and there's a greater force connected between here and the divine and the cosmos all right we understand that the reaches do not work through us but i mean for us but they work through us all right the reaches are pure god-like energy all right, energy that is connected to the higher creator of source. All right. The Arishas are different different elements of the earth that can be utilized to manifest everything that you want on this earth. All right. So for instance, Yemaya. Yemaya is the Arisha of salt water, the seas. Okay. And is the energy of vital force. Of that element. So when you talk about the water and the seas, you're talking about emotions. All right. You're talking about stability in your feelings. You're talking about having a nurturing spirit. You're talking about having the abundance to feed not only yourself, your family, but many others. All right. You're talking about a strong mind, body, and spirit when it comes to your emotions and knowing how all that plays a major part in history. All right. The Yoruba tradition and Arishas were able to perceive many different things that our planet is has naturally that people don't even pay attention to. All right. So that's why, you know, they could easily observe that the world is alive and that everything in it is moving. So that's why I got the inspiration to call my channel Everything Woke because everything has energy everything holds energy that's why you're not supposed to bring stuff in your house or you're not supposed to touch everybody because everything has energy and just as well i speak about the reaches being godly and their reaches having pure light and they help me boy are they beasts all right everything has a negative and a positive and it's to your knowledge of spirituality and how to use the powerful powerful spirits that's how it's going to play out in your life because again a lot of people know that if you work with the Arishas, yeah, they're very powerful, you know? But it's to what extent you are using them for. Now, they are big, 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 big on fairness. So, uh, Arisha could be working with somebody in pure light, granting them everything. Ishu opening all the doors. And then this person that's working with them is going downhill. It's because what's done in the dark will always come to light. And you got to right your wrongs. You got to clear your karmic debt before you even... Think about working with these strong spirits because then when they know that you understand the assignment and that you are not fearful of having all your materialistic things stripped from you so that way we could utilize our creative spirit more and it could work through us, that is the only time you're going to see the real purity of these guys, all right? They knew that everything was related to something. They understood the influence among a lot of things and that it cleared a lot of things for them when it comes to a supernatural intelligence, all right? They recognize in nature, they recognize the excellence of mother nature and learn to love and respect others around it and in it. They knew that without the love and respect, a lot of errors and failures would occur in a general energetic aspect because they knew everything was energy, all right? So we're going to see... What's going on? I love you guys. And thank you so much for engaging and emailing me. You know, I don't be having a lot of time, but when I do have the time, look, I could grant you your reading. So, Spirit, tell me what I need to know. The Earth element in reverse. This is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You could be a Taurus, Taurus Virgo, or Capricorn. Or, or have, um, have that in your chart. But this is about everything earthly. Remember what I said? We use the Arishas and the elements they possess throughout the earth to our highest good. 
the water element, the fire element, our passion, our emotions, the air element, our intellect. All right. Our, you know, everything is coincides. And right now, with this seven of cups, somebody is under a major spell. Somebody probably needs to work with the Arishas. Or this could be the doing of the Arishas because something wasn't being balanced. Okay? The seven of cups speaks about a heavy, heavy, dark illusion all around you. And you needing to give an offering possibly to, to Yemaya. Thank you, spirit, possibly to Yemaya because she's a water spirit. Somebody has been tampering with your emotions and confusing you, doing heavy, heavy spell work. All right? And it, 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 it's attacking everything that you have wanted to materialize on this earth. And even an earth sign could be having some sort of negative influence when it comes to the spell upon you right now. This is heavy, heavy illusion spells. That is messing with your emotions. You could probably feel one way, but want to do something else, but something is stopping you. All right? Somebody has a heavy spell on them right now that possibly you need to give an offering to a water spirit from because somebody got a hold on your emotions. Somebody is caught casting an illusion on your emotions and it's causing you to make wrong decisions when it comes to your earthly matters. All right? They are heavy, heavy, spiritually attacking you and you're going under spiritual warfare right now, baby. You are going under attack, major attack, major spell work. When it comes to your mind, when it comes to how you feel, when it comes to your energy, somebody playing on your chakras, all right? This could be family. This could be a group of motherfuckers. But you getting spiritually attacked with this five of wands and the seven of cups. It's hitting everything earthly, all right? everything earthly you, you feel like you a up i feel like you up against you feel like you up against the world you feel like you up against demons this could be in your dreams but baby you need to get it off of you you need to pray give an offering in your maya or ask a lay bois to change your fate and for some of you guys this is somebody that that is attached to you look a salamander Somebody is attacking your emotions when it comes to how you move. You need to protect yourself. I feel like for some of you guys, you need to move accordingly. You need to be, you need to be transparent at this time. You need to brace yourself to deal with some harsh conditions right now because you're getting spiritually attacked with this five of wands. Somebody is aiming at your head. Somebody is aiming at your crown chakra here. Somebody is aiming at your communication. Somebody is aiming at the things that are being communicated to you. Somebody is refraining, refraining you from your thoughts and your right judgment. Somebody is spiritually attacking you. Somebody got a hold on your thoughts and your crown chakra. For some of you guys, you probably feel like you're about to be lines with all of these um, rifles. You feel like your back is up against the wall. You feel like you can't think. Like you paranoid. This is paranoia. This is confusion. This is anxiety at its worst. This is an illusion. Somebody is going under spiritual attack. Heavy. On a mind. A mind. Look. Your family is fighting over money. Or there's a family matter that is sending you spiritual attacks because of money or because of abundance here. Because of how you are getting to the bag. Because this is the three of wands. All right? This is what? This is um. This is Mars, Jupiter, and the sun. So this is all about growth and expansion. This is about growth. Get, getting on the right step to abundance so you're not even all the way there yet and you're getting spiritually attacked by your family your friends or a group of people outside influence because they see you headed to some sort of wealth or some sort of new opportunity where you can you can free your mind 
What is this um spell work here? This seven of cups, this is heavy spell work. Look, the dwarf and the gnomes in reverse. Somebody is redirecting negative energy to you because the dwarf and the gnomes, you put this in your front yard to ward off negative entities, low vibrational spirits, dark spirits. It's either somebody don't have no spiritual protection or somebody has put you under a, a heavy spell so where now instead of warding off these negative negative dogs entities and spirits now you don't have no protection and that's why somebody needs to heavily do an offering to yim and yah or ask a leg boy, why is this going on all right it's a reason why somebody asked for the reading And that's why I be like, be careful what you ask for because I'm not in control of these readers. Now, somebody got a heavy spell on them where it's redirecting all of their protection and stripping it away. They cannot ward off no evil or dark spirits because they got a dark spirit attached to them. All right. This person is praying to God and they are giving an offering to, to um, Yemeya. Okay. They are giving an offering to the water spirits because somebody's attacking your crown chakra. And if your emotions are confused, you can't think. The crown chakra is connected to your throat chakra. It's your head connected to your throat. Somebody either don't want you to speak, somebody don't want you to make the right decisions, or somebody just complete, completely is deliberately confusing you on purpose. All right? Why is this earth element in reverse? Why is this earth element in reverse? This could be um, a, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn. Or this could be something just involving somebody fucking with your money. All right. Look, what is this? Five, seven of the seven of the wands. Somebody is trying to beat it, but they can't. Somebody got to get an offering. See, with this, you fighting back. You holding up healthy boundaries. You defeating the demons because you equipped to engage in spiritual warfare somebody is not equipped to engage in spiritual warfare and it's whooping a ass it's whooping a ass somebody needs to spiritually strengthen themselves okay but it's messing with your earthly matters it's like the demons was sent to you and it's earthly realms to attack you and it's they winning Or this could just be an illusion. You could just probably feel like they winning because they're attacking your crown. They see in your every move. They see right through you. You got to fix that. Why is this three of wands here? This that wealth. Crazy. The ace of pentacles, they stopping your money. The ace of pentacles... Upright is solid offers. It's protection. You don't see how fierce that animal is, all right? This is no solid offers. This is heavy spiritual attacks on your growth, your money, your investments, your creativity, your ideas to get you to the bag, your strength, your spiritual strength. This is deliberately being done to you. And maybe y'all felt it. And that's why y'all asked for the Arisha reading. Why is this gnomes and dwarfs here in reverse? Remember y'all, this is, this is the, um, this, these are the statues that you put in your front yard to ward off negative entities and spirits. Like real heavy negative entities and spirits and to protect your abundance. Like lucky charms, right? So why is that in reverse, spirit? Why is that in reverse? Heavy spiritual warfare. So, they wanted, they wanted you to be the outcast. I felt like you was the black sheep of the family. I felt like you was a person that had that niche out of your group. You was the person that was always getting compliments. You was the, always, you was the person that always dressed nice or people were just attracted to you. But you was the outcast, but you was okay with that. 
You was be, you was going to the beat of your own drum. This person don't look mad that they the outcast, and people hated that. People didn't like the way that you carried yourself, even if it was by yourself, all right? Because you was growing. Everything around you is growing. You was climbing to the top, even if you was by yourself. This is pure black sheep of the family. When the hate don't work, they start telling lies. You was already climbing to the top here. Everything that you was touching, you was working hard at it, even if you was the outcast. So they wanted to prey on that. They wanted to keep you... And it's outcast energy by doing spell work, by making you feel so alone, by making everyone turn against you and you just really the outcast. Like you don't have no support. You don't have no foundation. You don't have no house. You don't have nowhere to really comfortably rest your head and get a peace of mind. This is your emotions being tampered with here. They wanted you to feel like an outcast because it wasn't messing with you. But now at some time, we all need love. We all need our spirits to work through us, right? We can't be looked at as being seen inside out. People looking right through us. No. But that's what it was. Somebody once wanted to redirect all your protection and all your spiritual strength and energy away from you so that way you won't be able to climb to the top like this seven of pinnacles this is seven seven all right somebody intervened with somebody past they made them feel more like an outcast than a than, than they supposed to have felt all right. Um, what is this nine of wands? This is like heavy, heavy spiritual warfare. Like you can't go nowhere. You being attacked spiritually within your mind, possibly even physically. But what is this seven of wands? Look. So somebody is being protected from a relationship. All right. Your gods is coming. Your gods is coming to save you. All right. Yes. This is the six of wands. They come in to protect you. They come in to save you. Just hold on. But for somebody, it's going to be out of a relationship. There's not going to be no spiritual support in your relationship. There's not going to be nobody feeding your children. This probably could have been a thing where somebody that acting like their children needed to be fed or whatever and wanted to suck you in like that. That's It's not happening. And somebody, guys... Is coming to save them because somebody needs saving right now. And I'm telling you, you need to pray. I feel like the only way your God is going to save you if you pray. Now, I'm not talking about praying and just asking for, oh, I'm sorry for the murders I did. I'm not talking about that. If you did something really, really bad to somebody, you could still pray to Yem and Yah, but you might go through a dark night of the soul. You know what I'm saying? You might, for causing something like this on somebody, it got to be balanced out. So they're going to dish out the same karma that you did. Use the spell work to put this on somebody because that's the only way you're going to feel how they felt and you're not going to do it again. And for others of y'all that has been getting this done on them, your ancestors is coming. They know you can't take it no more. They know. They know you can't take it no more. They know you tired of feeling like the outcast. It's like, but so much somebody can handle. They know. All right. So why is this outcast here? Why is this outcast here? The nine of cups. You're about to be free. Spirit is about to come and get you. Holds on. You're about to be saved in the middle of the night. I'm hearing like a thief in the night. Your emotions. It's a lot to do with your emotions. Look, it's a lot to do with the sea. Go to the water. Pray. Pray to the water. Pray to the sea, guys. Ask for forgiveness. Or forgive yourself. Clarify this outcast one more time. You got the nine of cups here. Allegua. Pray to Allegua. Pray to Allegua. 
Because a leg is the one that has to do with changing your fate. All right? Pray to a leg Pray for your happiness. Pray for everything. Y'all see how that came out? Y'all see how that came out? All right. So somebody was doing death spells on you. That's what's going on, okay? So somebody was doing death spells on you. Somebody was making sure that nothing you touch will prosper. All right? But now, karma is being handed out to your torturers, to your tormentors, and to those that abused the elements of earth. Because a lot of people don't even know about Arishas. But that does not mean that they don't see everything that you're doing. That they relate it back to God. So karma is being dished out for all the death spells that has been done towards you guys. And maybe that's why you have been requesting these energies. Now there have been a lot of press watches that may have been requesting these energies to see what's going to happen to them after they did the death spells. But it's not going to be too good because here you've been caught and then a legwa is here to change your fate. It's here to give out karma. So for some of you guys, your spirit guys are about to help you or you need to do an offering to your water spirits or God or whoever you want to call. But for some of you guys, you wanted to know about the Arisha. So definitely do um, an offering. Now, this does not mean you will get help, but it shows your initiation to recognize your wrongdoing or the wrongdoing that somebody else caused you to receive some type of help. Now, the, the, the help would depend on what part you played and the reason for all of this. Okay? So if you know you ain't having nothing to do with nothing, then you're going to be helped by your answers. They're coming to save you, your emotions. All right? But if not, then a legwa is going to be handing out some heavy karma. Y'all already know how I talk about him. All right? Somebody is being spiritually cleansed. All right, your aura, your whole aura is being cleansed. When you talk about <clears throat> Expana, okay? Expana is cleansing everything that is surrounding this heavy spell work, all right? And you're going to be able to sit comfortably and set healthy boundaries. You know, this is a prehistoric animal that was once here on Earth and that has got judged because of how they look. In all reality, they was the most gentlest animal you could possibly ever come in contact with so you have been judged by your by your spiritual practices or the way you looked or the way you may seem how serious you took life and now you're going to be able to sit comfortable no matter how others view you no matter how people look at you on the outside because spirit and arishas know what is within you all right why is the leg while here why is the leg while here spirit The air, he's about to change something within your mind. All right. He's probably going to help you get rid of that confusion and guide you. All right. Yet, yeah, look, he's coming to save you. He's coming to save your mental and bring you peace because he knows that you don't deserve that. He knows that you don't deserve that at all. This is for somebody that does not deserve this heavy spell work, okay? Death threat. Right. device is connected successfully. Something has, has went too far. This is somebody that does not deserve it. You're about to be cleared. Anything else, Allegra? Why are you here? A village. Whoever, I feel like Allegra is trying to help a whole village to show who was in, in charge of all of this? There's a whole village that needs help. Yeah. There's a whole village that has been put under spell work by somebody here. And they are trying to move forward, but they can't. Some of them has passed away. Some of them has been 
going through a lot of house fires or burning or medical issues. But some there's a whole village that possibly wants to know how can they get help? How can they move forward? Everything is coming crumbling down on a whole village. I'm hearing a massacre of spell work. This could even be a city that does spell work. Damn. A whole village that's involved with spell work or that has been around spell work. Tell me why is this village here? In reverse. It's like they can't get out. Why is this village here? I, oh my gosh, a Jezebel spirit. A Jezebel spirit has done spell work on a whole community of people. It's like if she don't get sex, if she don't get money for sex, if she doesn't have the relationships that she wants, if the baby father or baby mother doesn't do whatever they like, she's doing death spells. You cannot move nowhere. It's a Jezebel spirit doing this to a community. Oh my gosh. And they're causing delays on them moving forward because she's in control of everyone's emotions. She could either make you go left or right. She's in control of people's emotions and she's about to be sat down. Oh my gosh. It's a whole community that has been affected with this Jezebel spirit. And revert. I can't make it up. Wow. I told y'all, y'all need to pray to him and y'all. That's it. That's it. That's it. Y'all, y'all, that's the only way. That is the only way. That is the only way a whole village. Y'all need to pray to him and y'all. Because a whole village has been under heavy spell work. Even if it's not black magic, this is spell work with your words. A whole village. A whole freaking village by a Jezebel spirit. This is crazy. This is somebody that could have been infecting people. Like literally infecting your whole body. Causing you to die or get on a log. A whole village. Y'all have to pray to Yemiya. Give Yemiya some respect. I don't know if it's going to help. But it will depend on why this was done to you or how did you play a part but that's good that's how it's gonna balance out oh my gosh anything this is gonna be closing message you need spiritual strength here you need to get in your leo energy the leo the full moon and leo just passed on the fifth and this is affecting somebody heavy y'all see that it's affecting somebody's finances. It put a hold on somebody's ten of pentacles. Or this could be a fire sign putting a hold on somebody's. Ooh. Ooh. There's a fire sign that is trying to put a hold on the water element, which is your emotions. Which is your ideas, which is your creativity, which is you not feeling like an outcast, which is you knowing that you have support. They want everything on the fence for you. While they, while they take control, they want to have all control over your emotions and your material blessings. Tell me more about this ace of fire. A message from fire. The enslaved prisoner. You trying to get released as like an enslaved. You, you, somebody is either burning you or like burning you a fire or trying to keep you chained to under their will. Get out of that. The Arisha is just trying to help you. And you need to pray to Yemiya or something because heavy spell work. Heavy. Oh, yup. Yeah. Somebody's burning. 
I'm, there's too much fire here. There's too much fire here. There's a Jezebel spirit that is burning. Like exploding. Like burning, 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 burning. Like burnt a whole, it's nothing but burning here. Even somebody's trying to fight this burning battle. It's a lot of burning. Oh my gosh. Intimidation. It's not working no more. Y'all probably could get help. I don't know, but it's just a lot of burning. That's the Arisha's reading. Anything else? Any other Arisha want to come out before I close out this reading? Damn, somebody's stuck in a cycle. Somebody has got devoured by the serpent here. A snake. And all of your animal instincts that was supposed to move you forward. You feel like they are like, you can't. You got to pray. Like there's something over you. That's causing you not to complete nothing. Nothing. Like there's something over you. It's either an affection. Just something. You know, we're not going to, we're going to speak favor over anybody's life that's going through this. We're not even going to tamper with those words. Because words are, what the words are spells. But that's why you, that's why it's called spelling. So, somebody is playing with heavy spell work that is redirecting everything to the negative get it get help and i speak favor over your life i know that you will receive help i know that yemaya will help you well i don't know that so i'm not gonna i take that back but i know that if you are somebody that's pure and that you don't deserve this i i know that the arishas will come to you um aid depending on the level of how you played in this part all right i love you guys Again, the element in reverse, the air element. Somebody is working on your crown chakra. Again, a message from air. They, they are fucking with how you are receiving downloads, how you are receiving messages, how you are connecting with the divine. And just messages, period. 